Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Eye to Eye Makeup Podcast. My name is Jennifer Navarro and we have our co-host. My name is Diana Costa. And today we are going to be filming about deep potting. Um, so we're actually going to take one of her big palettes and try to condense it and uh, take it into a smaller palette to see if it'll help her. Uh, but it's her first time doing it, so we're hoping it'll be kind of a fun experience. That way we can... For sure, and a learning, a a learning, learning experience yes. because yes. I've never done this, so obviously she's gonna teach me how she does it, and then obviously I'm gonna mold it into my way. So and the potting is just basically taking big compact makeup and, and taking it into a smaller compact. That way, when you're traveling doing makeup, you're carrying less, but at the same time, you're still carrying more. Hope that makes sense. Yes, it does because I was literally about to ask you what is deep potting, but. You oh, just explained. <laughs> Alrighty, so with that, what equipment is necessary okay. for beginners like me? Like what will I have to buy? Okay, so I have some equipment, but I can show you. So of course, oh, this, this is, so this is Jenny's palette. This is the one that we're going to be depotting and take it into a smaller one. So it's super big. I'm not sure why you, how you carry this. But this is the one we're going to be using today. But you at least need to have something um, like this is the Z palette warm. What is the name? The Z palette is a Z Potter ultimate depotting device. Yeah. So it's basically like a little heater. I machine. call it burner. Yeah, burner. But you can get these on Amazon. They're way cheaper. They're like 20 something. But I wanted to get the brand. <laughs> I'm dumb. I made a dumb purchase, but no. I mean, it works just fine. I mean, if I were to travel, I wanted to heat something up, then I have this. Pero luego so, lo barato sale caro. Yeah, so that's, that's why you're playing it safe. Yeah. So okay. um, you need to have one of these so you can uh, heat off the plastic um, or even heat it off from the palette. Hmm. So okay. the next thing you're gonna need is obviously your palette that you want to use. There's different sizes, whatever kind of works for you. We have this size, which is, I think it's more of like the kind of big medium size. Then I have this one. It's still kind of weird oh. when I cleaned it. That's okay. Then I have this one, which is kind of bigger um, and it has two different Side, oh, okay. so you it's can like put different book. things. Yeah, it's like a book. And okay. It looks wet. <laughs> <laughs> I sanitize all of this, so yes. that's why it looks kind of yes. wet. Yes, sanitation. Yes. Um, so uh, if you also want to go smaller than that and not go as bulky, um, I also have these, which some of these you can even find on Amazon. All this stuff, these two palettes, well, this one I got years ago on the Morphe website, which is this one. This one I got on Amazon, and then this one I got from the Kit Pack company. But um, you can, they sell on Amazon different kinds, mm -hmm. so. So just in general, a smaller yes. one if you're looking for a smaller one. Yes, the okay. next thing you're going to need are uh, spatulas. Uh, one is magnetic, it has a little magnetic thing, and then a regular one. And then I like to just kind of use this, it's super thin, uh, to kind of take off the the eyeshadow. I'll show you once we start doing it. But it's like a little needle thing. Yeah. That's actually made for cookies, but oh, okay. it works for me. Um, the next thing you're going to do, some of these eyeshadow pants are not magnetic, so you're going to need little magnetic... Um, Empty pants. Well, no, they're like little magnetic little things. Oh, okay, okay. Like, so you just you, stick you them stick to the bottom. Them, yeah, you stick them to the back of the pan and to the shadow, and hmm. it sticks onto the palette. And then um, you're going to need alcohol, makeup remover, just so you can take off the plastic and some of that residue that the pan has. Um, so just little containers for that. So. Oh, and the last thing is a little uh, drywall. <laughs> yeah, drywall, a little spatula. It's just so you can scrape off the plastic or the residue it has because some of it looks disgusting. So, but yeah, to get okay. started. So let's get started. So the palette. Oh no, we have to connect. Yeah, the... connect that. Okay. Ahorita voy a calentar tortillas aquí. Voy a poner mi comal. <laughs> All right, so this has different levels. Um, I think the highest level, the highest level is three. Um, no, it's five. 
but I like to keep it under three. That way you won't burn the product. So medium temperature. Yeah, medium temperature. So we'll let that heat up. How long do we have to wait or will it be? It's just on. Yeah, it'll oh, stay okay, on. Okay, okay. Um, you can kind of... Yeah, my hands are cold. Para calentar tortillas. Sí, ahorita voy a poner. Trae las tortillas, amor, corre. Ya, ya está caliente. All right, so... Sorry, my... The next thing we're going to do is rip this apart. <gasps> Am I ready for this? <laughs> you ready to rip it apart? I can't see. Here, you rip I it. I can't see. You rip it. Oh, goodness. I don't even know how. Okay. Okay. So, obviously, the first... How would you even break this cardboard? Like... Yeah, so that's oh where God, the it. spatula comes. Okay. We are going to kind of just... Guys, this was my first palette. As in like for makeup application on other people besides myself. So just kind of like break it up. Okay. Will we need this ahorita? Yes. Para ponerlo acá yes. Abajo. Oh, okay. Okay, so she's and just going on the edges and trying to lift up the edges with the spatula. This is high quality cardboard. Yeah. Is it an ASMR video? Are you heartbroken? Nah. No. I've had a real heartbreak you, in you life. You have to so be super careful because if you move the shadow too much on a certain way, you can literally break the shadow and you can ruin it. You can ruin that one, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I have permission to ruin that one. Yeah, you should turn it. Oh! <laughs> Which one was it? I'm just kidding. It's rolling. Thank you. Me See, this one just came off. And this is super messy, so just be ready for that if you ever think about defaulting your things. All right. So it's done. It's no longer one Gosh. piece. <laughs> Hold on. I, okay, I wanted to see how exactly they... I think we need tissues. ...manufacture this. Paper towels okay? Yes, paper towels. Yeah, isn't this cool? Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, okay, I see. So now we're gonna take off. Okay, so this does look layer. like the, Okay, a ver, how about we just have okay. it turn it around? Y despegar esto, and then we can just oh, yeah. it. Like face it down. Okay. Because it's gonna jump with the. Uh, guys, look. We're inside an eyeshadow palette right now. This, this is amazing <laughs> to me. Look at this. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Can yeah. I just like cut it and then take it like a thing? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just kidding because they're going on the go. Oh, just take it like that? Yeah. We should have brought scissors. I think it would have been easier. Little magnet things. What? Oh, you gotta throw it away. Okay, you do it. To the trash. <laughs> okay. I'm a order. Isn't this cool though? Like just how everything's just like stuck. Yes, that's like, what I'm glued. saying. That's All right. So, so we're gonna take uh, this corner first, and we're gonna put it, place it right here, so it can get kind of warm, so the uh, glue can come off. Um, can I have the tissue? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Get some. How do you know when it's ready? Will it actually melt the eyeshadow? Um, no, no, no. it'll kind of um, smoke, and you you can't even kind of feel it once it's ready. It takes it takes a couple minutes. So what if I didn't have this? Could I just peel it off, like the eyeshadow, without the? No, because it's really stuck to the glue to the glue, and if you just peel it off, the shadow's gonna break. All right, so now we're just going to pour alcohol. Okay. 
Then makeup remover wipe. Makeup. Makeup remover. <laughs> makeup remover. I have these here. We're gonna get our spatula. Oh, can I have another tissue? Mm-hmm. Okay, I can see. Oh, okay, it's yeah. good now. Do I take them off? Yeah. I'm kind of scared. Okay, let's take it off here. Oh, todavía le falta poquito? No, it's no? good. Okay. Yay, we got our first one out. Okay, so I guess a question would be, how do you ensure that you don't damage or waste any products? You just have to be super careful. Like the thing, I don't know if there's like a wrong or right answer to that. Ah, <laughs> that one's hot. Girl, I just got, I felt the pain for you. Because <laughs> um, whenever I tried doing this, um, I, when I first tried it, I like, it a perder so many palettes. <gasps> Well, probably. Okay, pretty. you were learning then. Yeah, because I was learning and a lot of the shadows broke. Okay. Because um, every every palette is different. I mean, some are plastic, some are cardboard like this. Okay. So talking about your first time, how did you learn or heard about this? Like... The first time? Yeah. ¿Cómo, cómo es que llegaste a saber de este? De este? Um... I think because one time I was watching celebrity makeup. Well, like celebrities do their do makeup on on the on the celebrities, of course. And I kept seeing just palettes, like como que they were like palettes that they made. Like they didn't have a oh, name, mm -hmm. and they were just okay. the shadows and the the powders were there. Like they were like uh, in a in a palette like this, but obviously it was all sorts of other that, like you said. So they could, they yeah, made on and their I own. was just yeah, like they they yeah, made I've it seen on their own, like and mm -hmm. I was like, what is that? And then um, I kind of just uh, started seeing more videos, like on Instagram or YouTube, about the potting and condensing and all that. Um, so I started. Who, was it somebody in specific that you followed on YouTube or anything like that that was that you learned it from? Um, or just. You don't remember like the channel? No, I don't remember. Mm. I don't remember. I know the who I followed, who sh who um, kind of showed me about the repressing, mm -hmm. like whenever the shadows, I crushed the shadows and then putting it into a new pan. That was the artist kit company where I saw that. Hmm. Um, so, and I thought that was way more convenient than doing all of this stuff, in my opinion. But I mean, you gotta start somewhere. So. Okay, so it, it just started with watching other MUAs doing makeup and you realized that their palettes were different mm -hmm. and I was like, that's not a brand or like, where do they get that? Mm -hmm. And uh, some of them were like, oh, I depotted it and then, you know, you kind of start looking into more hmm. of that. Okay. I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so common mistakes other MUAs make when depotting. How can they avoid, avoid them? Common mistakes? Mm -hmm. uh, not having like the right proper tools for it. Mm -hmm. Such as like the correct burner or mm -hmm. like... Yeah. Um, not having, I guess, yeah, not the proper tools. All right, so I guess while that's waiting, we can go ahead and start taking some of this off. Okay. So I just take some alcohol, some makeup remover, put it right here. So you put them on the back of the yeah, pan. Okay. That way the, the thing can come off. Girl, we're, it's like we're cooking, but makeup style. <laughs> cooking you <know>? food. <laughs> we're cooking food. Um, I feel like we're in the science lab, though. Science lab? Yeah, you know. So, obviously, we're conserving, we're trying to conserve that original pan. Yes. To the best possible way and cleaning this and stuff to just put the magnetic at the bottom and then... Okay. 
So she's just scraping the glue. The glue came off. Do you want wipes? Here, more. Yeah, like no, the like actual baby wipes. You think it'll help that? No, it's okay. Okay, miss. It's just part. I feel useless right now. I feel like. Maybe while she's doing okay, that, I can yeah. remove. Okay, see, <laughs> making myself handy here. Okay, now. let me put this back here because I'm scared. I'm scared I'm gonna burn. See, there goes another one. Okay. Yeah, so eventually, this is what she's doing, making them, making them go from this to this on the back of the pan. Of the shadow. Sorry, girl. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. They do get messy. Okay. Do you have any? Okay, so now I'm just going to remove. The pan. Seriously, this is like the MUA kitchen. We're like, mira, es como estoy cortando the veggies. You're prepping the meat. <laughs> you know? <laughs> What's gonna work? Teamwork. What's gonna work? Teamwork. Yeah, now what is it that you're doing right now? I am taking off the plastic, well, the adhesive of the pants that um, was stuck to that palette. So we're just taking it off that way we can clean them and then we can what? Nothing. So the I just took off a bronze uh contour. Take a mess this? Oh it no. is hot. So I'm cleaning this off that way we can uh put some of these magnetic things, magnetic things, and then put it on the palette and then we're gonna be done. So it shouldn't be too bad. So I'm using some alcohol and makeup remover liquid to take off the adhesive of the back of the shadows that way we can clean them and she's using the drywall tool <laughs> to remove it and i'm just using the spatula okay so quick question so I, I maybe it's been like two minutes since i removed it from the burner um well yeah that that mm -hmm. <laughs> um how long will it take to recool or till I have to put it back on the burner again. You probably have to now. Okay. Um, that way you won't break them. Because it, it's only, it's only like a little like in the middle. So now we're going to focus on the middle. The thing is not too big, so. Yeah, yeah. What are some creative ways to repurpose the packaging or containers from a depotted product? Like, is there like specialized empty pallets like this no 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 mm -hmm. i wish there was a way to like uh save them because sometimes it does hurt like yeah. getting rid of those containers but i haven't found a way to like reuse them okay. I, I don't know how it would serve a purpose to reuse them or fill them with what but no like all the pallets usually kind of go bad once you take off these okay uh, girl, you think we can reuse these? Come on. Really? I mean, <laughs> Jenny over there, a uh, over there. I know. She wants to reuse this one. Okay, part. you know what though? I am going to keep this as a memory for my first depotting ever. Yes or no? Comment down below. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, I'm a hoarder. You can use it for crafting. The, nah. Yeah, no? Okay. Oh, yeah. So it's, now time. it's going, yeah. So I guess a sign to know when it's warm is when you see smoke <laughs> and you start that little mini panicking moment. Because <laughs> you don't want it to mess up. Yeah. So I usually kind of just scoop uh, the product in here. So like I'm scooping the makeup remover first and then I'm scooping some of the alcohol and then I bring it down to the shadow. I kind of see like a little crack on this one. <gasps> Wait. Does that mean it's going to break if I turn it over? Ooh. It's okay. It's green. I don't like green anyways. I think it got too hot. It got too hot? Yeah. 
Okay, so I guess if it gets too hot, it'll kind of crack the eyeshadow a little bit. So you do got to be careful with that also. Oh, yo, ya, ya soy experta aquí en primera <laughs> vez. Okay, I think we fixed it. We repressed it with our fingers. <laughs> Yeah, that's, well, that smells in my fingers. <gasps> Woo! My gosh, I got scared. By the way, look at Jenny's outfit. What? You're all so dressed up, your hair done, the cute makeup. Girl, I'm trying to catfish she has the people. White booties. I'm trying the, to catfish the, people the, to watch the, our video. <laughs> the white Tatiana <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Tatiana, la, la niña, la de la estrella esa. Yeah. I used to like and it. I'm over here with the bi big uh, t-shirt and leggings. <laughs> well, we got to catfish our audience. You know? You guys have this come on. Wait, are you trying to get men to watch this or other <laughs> makeup artists? Whoever. Just like, oh, she cute. Click. <laughs> Conceited. Okay, guys, so as y'all seen it here, Diana just murdered my palette. And then she just wants to dispose of the remains like it's nothing. <laughs> like it had no value in my life. So was this like your first palette that yeah. you got? Well, no, the very first palette for me was the Carly Bible. The, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. But one. the very first palette that I intended to use on clients was this one so yes for clients yes this was my first palette ever and i guess that's why i'm so used to using it because i got familiar with the browns and stuff and i guess this is why it's my first option because i use it the most yeah no it no. kind of felt like i did though Guys, this is not for the week, okay? You gotta have some tough fingers. You gotta have patience. Patience. Some coffee to put you in a good mood again. If you feeling frustrated, wanting to give up. Okay, so tip, because I'm a procrastinator. So is this something that I could start and then come back to it later to finish? Sure. See? Yeah. It doesn't have to be done at the like same finish moment. a whole palette in one day. No, uh -huh. you don't have to. No, no. But I'm the person that I'm like, okay, I want to get it over with. You start it and you have to finish it. Yeah, I have it. to finish it. Yeah. See, that's but, a good trait to have. Not like me, where I just come back to it later. <laughs> yeah, because if you come back to it later, it might be two weeks. <laughs> and then you, yeah, next and then I lose. You're gonna need it. <laughs> and then I lose them. Ready. Okay. Be careful. Camera tissue, please. Yes. You're welcome. Thanks, ma'am. These little pods don't get hot. They don't feel hot to me. Oh, that's because of the tortillas. Yes, girl. Because you constantly flip on tortillas, so your fingers are used to it. Yeah. I don't use spatulas. Okay. Mi mano, okay? okay. I don't be like. Okay. No, honey. Shall I go in there and I turn it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, and another thing, I even sometimes cuando la petaca está en la, en la mesa and I'm still making tortillas, I, I carry it like this. La tortilla. Okay? And I put it in the petaca. Andres is like, this isn't about tortilla tutorials. <laughs> Focus. Our manager's getting over there probably frustrated with this. I'm watching y'all's new video that just went live. Oh! Are we famous yet? No. no, only one person. <laughs> I bet it's his who. <laughs> now he's at work. <laughs> I bet it's the makeup. Maybe artist. it's Andres. Maybe it's uh, Kelsey. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, true. So, Kelsey, if you guys are interested in watching our last episode, um, Casey came on one of our episodes and she talked to us about her experience with television, editorial, editorial, and modeling makeup. Uh, so she told us a ton of good tips and 
her experience. And I think it was just fun listening to her. Mm -hmm. um, she's a very sweet girl, so I can't remember her Instagram, but it'll be in, in this video down below. Our producer is going to put her, <laughs> put her name on there. Producer slash manager slash photographer. But I think it's a very fun and educational video. Um, because, I mean, hopefully one day I can be up to her level, you know? But it was an honor having her on our on our show. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> on our show. Thank you, Kelsey, once again. <laughs> on our podcast. Coming. Well, yeah, sure. Show, podcast, same thing. Yeah. Gossip. Do you have any chisme? <laughs> uh, pero chisme, let me see. What about Instagram verification? Oh, you have okay so i got the little pop-up to sign up like three times and i'm like nope nope wait what what are you talking the about? instagram the little palomita to get verified oh, so uh -huh. now all of my freaking notifications like, i can't see like i mean yeah i used to get so excited when a verified person would reach my account but now it's like everybody's everybody's verified so it's like a person has oh. 600 followers and they're verified yeah, so you're saying like I could just buy yeah, it and then now you... Yeah, because you pay, what, $15 a month? Mm -hmm. And just to have that on there? Andres did a podcast about that at another podcast. I know, I saw the, the guys. Yes, and uh, they talked about this. So yeah. we're going to link his uh, podcast down below. Go follow it, look at it, because Is it's it very posted? informative. Is it posted, your podcast? Oh. It's very informative, so... So Diana, with the with what you just said, would you pay for yours? Nope, I wouldn't. No. Mm -mm. Why not? Because I can use those fifteen dollars to go to Starbucks. <laughs> but that's literally only it's, instead of like two drinks. <laughs> instead of uh, paying that a month, like I think that's kind of stupid. Like I mean, you're not a famous person, you know. I know. I felt like the verified was only for those who were like we're really famous and do you no. think instagram is going to do something about like distinguishing like the celebrities no with because big... they're making a lot of money off of it but then you don't do you feel like the celebrities or whatever is, are going to complain about oh, maybe being common with the others yeah because they're not going to be they're going to they're not going to stand out because like i said whenever i would whenever i would get notifications on my instagram i would get so excited when a verified person like would reach out True. i would go and see how many followers they have and they had like a million followers or something or i knew who they were you know mm -hmm. but now you click on one it gets, and they, they got 200 like, followers yeah no i clicked on one the other day and she had 600 and something then i clicked on another person who had like 2000 and i'm like girl that's me but you're not, would you pay for it? No. No. <laughs> no, that's that's kind of embarrassing. I would I mean, say because yeah, cause like I don't have the following and Yeah, and, and and just because like everybody knows now that the old, I mean you can just pay for it and get that little thing like what's the difference, you know? How how is it how is it going to be special to your page? It's not even going to change the perspective of a person towards you in fact is gonna yeah. make it worse because they're like oh, oh okay. that dumbass pay for it yep <laughs> so yeah i wouldn't are we almost done we are done with that Yay! so i mean just look how beautiful though like the residue of the eyeshadows it kind of makes like a rainbow it just looks artsy but okay so that's done so do i turn that off Yes. Yes. You okay. may go ahead and turn it off. My fingers hurt. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I mean, I got to learn eventually. You want to try? Okay, guys, so I'm just scraping now. I'm just going to attack it from all angles. That way I don't stab my fingers. See? All right, well, she's doing that and finishing these last ones. Um, we're going to move on to the next step. I'm going to go ahead and just start cleaning the metal part. Sorry. That way it won't be todo cochino. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me just move this, and then you can explain again. I'll put this so I won't be reaching over you. And it's all clean. 
squeaky clean. You're gonna add like a, like a little like chip. Okay, sorry, explain that again, para que I wouldn't. <clears throat> oh, so I'm just taking alcohol uh, on a tissue or in a napkin, and then I'm just cleaning the back of the shadow. That way it won't be all cochino. <laughs> Cochino, cochino. It's good. <laughs> when Mexicans say cochino, we mean like nasty, nasty. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, kind of like every time me and Jesus go out to eat and then we see like a dirty table, <laughs> he's like, dang, comieron puerquitos aquí. <laughs> o comieron cochinitos aquí. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, I understand it's if you have kids, but um, yeah, if it's just two grown adults, like. But, but I mean, even if you have kids, like you're an adult, you can pick up after your kid, you know? Well, but if it's on the floor, I'm not gonna be, ma'am, can I, cuando venga the waitress, ma'am, can I borrow your broom? Well, yeah, I mean, I would try to pick it up with a tissue, with a napkin. I mean, Girl. that's what I've done, because when um, Gorda was smaller. True. But now she doesn't make a mess, so. Mm -mm. Suficiente tengo con limpias en mi casa. No voy a estar limpiando restaurantes. No, es que, but sometimes they're so, <laughs> even the table, like. No, but I, I know the table. Sticky, you know? Yeah. The table, I understand. No más bajo la mesa ya. Lo, como la, el dicho ese de que nada más limpias por donde ve la suegra. <laughs> ¿Cómo es el dicho de? I don't know. But you know which one I'm talking about? No. Cuando la vieja es huevona y nada más limpia, they just do the bare minimum. Oh. So, na, y así I se mean, dice. that's me sometimes, though. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, I'm tired sometimes and I just do the bare minimum, you know? Yeah, I just don't do it. Okay, Diana. Yes, ma'am. So, what do you, can you recommend any specific products or brands that are particularly well suited for depotting and condensing. Is there like a particular brand that is like? Uh, the Artist Kit Company. Mm -hmm. See? I love his products. Now, his is more advanced. So if you're looking into actually taking this big palette into a really tiny one, then he's the, the one to look for. Oh, this one's like all full of junk. But um, he's one, um, the, the Kit Pack company has also good ones. So this one. Yeah, that one. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there's one called Z Palette, but I don't recommend that one, which is this brand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why? Well, actually there's been beef. So a little cheese and time. Okay. <laughs> There's been beef with that company. Um, so that company, like Sephora used to carry that brand. Um, really? Yeah, and I do remember Sephora carrying like long their empty palettes because I have one. I have this little one that's a Z palette and I had bought it at Sephora. Um, but they stopped, uh, they dropped them because uh, they're very known to not, to be super rude to their customers and even to like their um, their followers like on Instagram. And uh, there was a, a recent one, uh, which the, the chinito that I follow from mm -hmm. Artist Kit Company, he has like a whole like highlights and like a story highlights of all the cheese in between the Z palette and um, the, the followers but apparently like the followers were commenting something on their on their page and the z palette company was like flipping them off like putting the, the, the flipping like emoji for no reason Dang. And, he, and they were doing it to a lot of people like it kind of seemed like they were getting hacked but no it was just them actually them. so they're very they're known for being super rude oh my god yeah okay so i don't recommend them <laughs> okay any others um, oh, there's uno que se llama like MYO, I want to say. MYO. Um, no, yeah, those heard. are palettes. They're, they're kind of like, they're, they're kind of like the little ones I have, but they're in bigger size. So for the, for those people who like to carry bigger palettes, um, the you know this? No. I'm just so scared oh. to get like an accident where it goes right in the, Ooh. you know, yeah, a thousand ways to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that should be the real. <laughs> a thousand ways to You know that the sound that's going on in Instagram? And record her doing that. That oh, would be fun. 
Okay. Back to question number eight. Okay. Okay, Diana. So, by depotting and condensing your kit, how has it changed your work as an MUA, MUA like you're working? <clears throat> yeah. Um, so it's changed quite quite a bit, quite a lot. It's made me faster with how I work. Okay. Um, just because uh, I used to carry everything in different bags because not everything fit in one my, one, my main bag. Mm -hmm. So I would be like stopping in the middle of my appointment or um, be like, oh, I wanted to use this product. And then I had to remember where I placed it because it was in another bag and it wasn't right there in front of me. Mm. Um, and it's also, I mean, I carry still kind of a bit of a weight. But I, I know that I have one bag just for my makeup, then I have another bag just for hair products, and then I have my makeup light and then my chair. But back then, like, all my bags were combined, like, with my hair products, or I didn't have my things too organized just because, like, everything was full size. Um, it was nice, you know, to carry the brand and the product, but it was just, it, it was it was making me also slower just because I had, us again, I had to take the time to take the product out and then even cleaning up, um, it would take me forever to clean up because then I had to, you know, take all the little baggies out and then put them where they belong and then clean everything up. Well, now I literally have everything in one bag. I just take my, one thing out of my bag, then put it back. Like I, all, I got into the habit of putting back where it goes. Mm -hmm. That way I don't have a big mess at the end. So the only thing that I'm cleaning up at the end are just my dirty brushes, my trash, um, or even just, you know, things that I kind of had out laying there. But most of the time I put it back where it goes. So it's made me a lot faster and of course a lot more clean. And I think it looks more professional. I mean, I, I get compliments all the time on my kit. Uh, just because of how it looks. So. Oh, I bet. That was a I really mean, really good answer because it was really detailed. Oh, I mean, yeah. it. Your kid does look good. It's <laughs> and it. Where are you gonna get yours? Dear? Okay, so how do you choose which products to depot and which to keep in its original package? Okay, so that's actually kind of tricky because not all of them can be depotted. Oh. Uh huh. Sorry. Um. Uh, so, so how can you tell so um it, it depends what you want to um really use it for for example our glass has these uh bulky powders and blushes have you have you seen their their line how it's kind of bulky like it has like a little the only hourglass product i know is the foundation that was in a <coughs> little triangle looking the hourglass um foundation okay so well, now i have okay seen. so most of their products which they're, they're pretty nice um i have only like one thing out of their line but um those are kind of bulky so you can't i mean it's good to uh, depot them and put them into other pans like a big one um just because they're bulky so you have to kind of like you know keep in mind that whenever you close the palette make sure it fits but so those are kind of more tricky um, and of course, you know, you can't depot like glitter liners or, you know, anything kind of like liquid or like concealers. You can't depot those things. Mm -hmm. um, you can, and of obviously. course, depot foundations because you can put those in a smaller bottle. Um, Tampoco los tube lipsticks, right? Yes. Like yeah, the, the ones with the sticks. sticks. Yeah. Yes. Um, but it, literally anything, I, I guess, um, anything liquidy, or, it just really, de really depends, like honestly, and how you want to depot it or repress it. Because um, if you try to re, you can't repress um, shimmer shadows because those do not sit well. Like, there's going to be another video that we're going to do, mm -hmm. but shimmer shadows you cannot repress and putting into a smaller little compact, you just can't do those. Um, the formula doesn't work well how like a matte shadow does. I guess it makes sense because whenever uh, you watch like MUAs that have created their own cosmetic line, they'll tell you that the shimmers and stuff, the formula is different. Then so I guess it makes sense that you can't depot all products. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's nice to know. And we're almost done here. This is the last shadow. And of course it's broken. Okay. It's because it's, it's really stuck there, guys. Like, especially the center of it. It's like... 
mm. a thousand years later. I know. <clears throat> so how long would you say it would take to do all this depotting with the size of my palette? How long would you say it takes? Oh, like this? Mm-hmm. What we just did? Mm-hmm. I don't know, like 40 minutes. 40 minutes? Yeah. Um, I might have it in one round then. <clears throat> Not have so, it. So uh, the neat thing about the potting and taking all of these shadows into another compact is how you can literally co customize it to your liking. Like if there's certain mm -hmm. colors you don't like or certain um, shadows, textures that you're not pleased with, you can just take those out and replace them and put more that you do like. Um, so that's one of the good things. Hmm. Uh, that way. You that's a good point. Yeah. Okay. This is literally like eating hot Cheetos, but with makeup. Look at my fingers. Eating hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos, you know, que te quedan los dedos cochinos. So, the next step is to... Let me take this out. Oh. All right, so after we've <coughs> taken the pants out and cleaned the pants. Yes, yeah, so now we're going to transfer them. So this is where your style and personality comes into play, right? Yes, because then you'll transfer them how you, or place them how you kind of like it. I like to put them in uh, color. Coordination. Yes. Um, but I know some others don't like doing that. So whatever Jenny decides to do, that's what we're going to do. But unfortunately, these... They're not magnetic, so I mean, they're gonna fall and they're gonna move everywhere, so it's not gonna stick. So uh, the good thing is that we have these little magnetic little pans and we're just gonna stick one. And where can you buy those? The, uh, the you magnetic. can get these on Amazon. Amazon. Mm -hmm. So let's do the circles. And they come in different uh, sizes and shapes also? Yes, okay. so the circle ones, uh, the square for the square shadows, and yeah, there's other bigger ones, but these are the ones I have. So you just take that oh, off. Oh, and that's why you use the like yeah. the needle-like. So you just take that off, and then what's your favorite shadow? <laughs> I guess it would be uh, just a brown. Okay. And I'll put it in the back. Just kind of press it. So we don't have to put glue or anything? No, it's no, already, it already like, comes. Sticky. Yeah, it okay. already comes with the glue. All right, once that's there, and you can even hear it. So you can literally move them around. Yeah. Yeah, and then they, so they let's won't say, fall. Let's say one day I'm feeling all moody and I just color coordinate <coughs> and then other day me siento like all colorful, so I just scatter yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. Okay, next, I guess. Do you want to color coordinate? Um, I think I'm colorblind, so we'll skip that part. I'm just kidding. Yeah, well, I guess we can. Okay, so I guess the darkest would be the black. So I guess we can move this pan down and start with the black yeah. in the or corner. Or do you want to have all your mattes or all your shimmers? Well, see, it makes you think. How it you makes, work. Yes, and how you are okay okay so let's color coordinate but the mats and then the shimmers okay so, so let's start with the mats first yes cause there's more mats than shimmers yes um, so the brown I mean the black so you want to color coordinate from the darkest, darkest to, to lightest? lightest in mats okay in mats okay now it's this one I think Look at my nail. It looks like I work in construction. No, mechanic. Yeah. Soy mecanica. Oh my goodness, that's dirty. Okay, oh my gosh, this is where complication comes in. Dang, this one kind of broke. Okay. I guess the next color is no, this alcohol. one. Okay, Dana. So what was the most difficult step for you when you first started to condense your kit? Money. 
Well, I think that's everybody's problem. Yeah, because you, if whenever, whenever you start um, condensing, you have to, of course, get have the right the materials. Because um, if you don't get the right materials, then you know you can possibly like f it up. You know. Mm-hmm. Um. But besides the money and buying the wrong equipment, like the actual process part, what was the most difficult for you? I guess for me, the me doing it for the very first up oh, girl, me doing it for the very first time is. I guess it would be like breaking the whole box. Oh, like the that packaging. One, like it hurts you? Yeah. Yeah, that, that could be one of them. That would be the most difficult yeah. for me. I think diffi another difficult one is like finding time for it. True. Because it's very time consuming and having patience. Because, I mean, I was getting so mad and so pissed when I was doing this. <laughs> And his would be like, calm down, you know, let me help you. So he would help me. And then make things worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, he would try to find like a better solution. Um, so he helped me quite a bit. And then um, I showed him, like at first I was doing this whole, you know, conserving um, the, the basically the, the shape. Because of course, whenever you repress and you actually, you know, uh, take the shot the whole shadow and crumble it and then put it into a different compact mm -hmm. um that costs more money mm -hmm. and i showed jesus like hey like you know i've been wanting to kind of do this but you know it kind of i kind of failed whenever i was kind of depotting because i mean it, it wasn't like the best but i i feel like even after i depotted and i put different shadows into different palettes i still like wasn't satisfied with how it turned out why was it like the because i was i was or? no no like because don't get me wrong taking these and putting into a different palette like everyone works so different mm -hmm. like it's not bad doing this you know um you like i said you got to start somewhere mm -hmm. but whenever i found out about the whole repressing and actually crushing the shadow and then basically remaking it that kind of like that, that's that's a different level and that work that works better for me because like i said i like how my kit looks now mm -hmm. with having everything in one spot versus you know because with con conserving the whole shadow you're still going to have multiple palettes so i mean you're still going to have different bags for it okay um so i showed him you know like hey you know i've been thinking about doing this and you know he he was like well you know get the stuff that you need you know get the machine that you need get the pellets like i'll help you mm -hmm. you know he didn't say no to that so and it always makes you feel good when you know you have your spouse's yeah, support. support you're like okay yeah. my amount on spending just went a little bit higher yeah <laughs> Excuse but me. they see it as in like an investment yes. you know like you're gonna make the money back somehow yeah you like know? coffee is an investment for me <laughs> <laughs> look at his face is it it is for a good mood <laughs> happy wife happy life right <laughs> yeah for sure for rizzle my drizzle i'm snoop dog now that's why i'm saying like this Dang, this is a lot of work though. Yeah. Imagine when I have to do this on my own. <laughs> on your own? Yeah. No, that's why I have Maya. Maya can... No, she's too little for all this. Because you know how some things are like kid-friendly where they can actually help. Yeah. But some things like this, I don't think so. Yeah, like Gorda wanted to help me so much when I was repressing. Mm -hmm. And I had her um, crush the shadow and then flatten it with the roller. Uh, so she was helping me with those. But everything else I had to do, because I'm like, you can't do it, mommy. See. <laughs> it's, it's hard. And then they do get a little upset. Yeah, because they can't. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, so we got those. Now, since we start here with green. I guess we can start with the greenies. With the greens. Oh, careful. So here. I guess stick to you. 
Are you liking this process so far? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I am. <laughs> Your face. I have mixed emotions actually. Why? <laughs> I'm in emotional crowd. damage right now. I don't know how to feel oh, about that, this. Oh, that real emotional damage. It's a chinito, no? El que lo dice. Name yours. Yeah, that's some sticky plates. I know, we do. In a palette. <laughs> uh, please send the invoice to that man right there. <laughs> but yeah, repress. I don't know what that means. Well, so it's depotting, repress, and then what? Deport. No. <laughs> so condensing is literally making uh, things smaller. That's what it kind of is. Repressing is uh, crushing the shadow. And you saw my little pans? Put yeah. Them in there. Putting them in there. That's repressing because you're crushing the shadow and you're basically not reformulating, but you're redoing the shadow. So instead of taking it into this, you, you put it into a different little metal. Does that make sense? Depotting is this, like taking it, still keeping it in the same format where it is, but putting it into another compact. So kind of like foundations, that's depotting, because you're still taking the formula, you're just putting it into a smaller container. But why would I want to create more work for me then? With, um... It's just how you want your kit to look. Condensing. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I want to be a full-time MUA anymore. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yes, because yeah, that's helping me. No, but I'm just saying, um, I mean, it is a lot of work. Yeah. To personalizing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you think there's a lot of makeup brands that are MUA friendly though? Like that their original package already comes? Yeah. Like Yeah, like the helpful. makeup of Mario, the, 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 the shadow. Mm-hmm. Because uh, it's small, I guess. Yeah. It's travel friendly um what else why why would it be mua friendly yeah because it's small and travel friendly so anything that's travel makes it yeah friendly? yeah because i mean would you rather carry that big palette or would you rather carry a, carry a small one it's really up to you like how you work yourself mm -hmm. that's a good point Okay, but besides Mario, any other brands? I struggle actually to find a good brand that's like MUA friendly that's like that. Especially with makeup artist brands that have like uh, like palettes, specified spal palettes such as like blush and like I don't want to buy all the individual ones. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? So I'd rather buy a palette and then like you said, maybe depot them and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I don't find a lot of brands that are like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Maybe we should come up with our own line called Cosmetic Line. Nadie nos quiere soportar en este podcast menos con nuestro Cosmetic Line. Did you do the squares? No, what squish? Did I, oh, sorry. Squish. Okay. All righty, guys, and we are done. Do you want to yes. show us our hard work? So, um, after we've been here for five hours, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> it literally took, you know, with the interruptions and stuff, maybe an hour. Yeah. With well, interruptions. Chit chatting. But, yeah, should, real you know, if you're doing it by yourself, it should probably take about 40 minutes. But, um, yes, I'm very excited to show you guys the result. Um, we transfer this. This is where basically her bronzers are going to be in. So it's this compact. And these are the shadows. Isn't that cool? Yes, in fact, I do have the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette that I yeah. might add to these yeah. just to complete the look. Yeah, but this is how it looks for just bronzers. And then this is where her shadows are. But I mean, <laughs> Could you even, would you even think that this was on that? I mean, and yeah. for sure I could still fit three more palettes yeah. and smaller, smaller ones, ones here. There. 
Yeah, and but it's so much organized. And I mean, even if you get to depot other palettes, you can even be like, oh, I don't like those colors, so I don't use them. Mm -hmm. Take them out and replace them with different ones. See. So, um, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Hope you like you. it. Yes, thank you for teaching me how to depot. Um, should I say this? Should I not? Fuck it. Thank you for taking my virginity of depotting. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pleasure. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but yes, we hope you like this video and I hope it was very inform educational for you if you want to uh, depot yourself or um, hopefully in the future you're looking into doing it. It can be quite messy. Uh, it can be a little expensive since you have to get all the tools, but I mean, I think it's worth it at the end. For um, sure. Because of all the benefits it brings you. Yeah. All right, so you can follow us on Facebook and YouTube as I Die Podcast Makeup. And then you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook as Makeup and Hair by Vienna. Yes, and once again, she shows a lot of content on how to compress, um, depot. Repress. Repress, that's the word, repress. Uh, but yeah, so check her out for more informative videos like that. So, and you can follow me on Instagram as jnava1029. And like she said, YouTube, Facebook, everywhere else as I Die Makeup Podcast. So comment down below if you would like to see the next series of these, uh, but with the depot, no, what is it called? Re Repressing. Repressing, yes. okay. So stay tuned for that, and then we'll see you on the next episode. Bye.